Now that Copernicus's observatory has been built, uh, this game has been sped up even more. Uh, after this, it, a lot of the uh, stuff that goes on from now is just routine. You know, diplomacy plays a really big part. Now, uh, something I uh, didn't mention earlier that I should have is that one thing you can you you can uh, use technology gifting for is to direct the research of other civilizations. So if you give a civilization technologies that it's currently researching, they will put that they'll put they'll put the research uh, to something else. So if you keep on giving them technologies, you can eventually get them to research something that you don't have and that you'll need. So and that's another thing you can use tech gifting for in addition to uh, changing your research costs using your key civilization. So it, uh, so there's a lot of uh, checking the diplomacy to check what people are, what civilizations are researching and uh, whether you can give them something. And additionally, it's also you want to ask for gold from your allies and try to get other alliances. Beyond that, you want to go and build caravans. You usually want to uh, rush them. So uh, that's what I do is I, what I was doing here is I let 10 shields get built, and then you rush 30 shields, and then you let the last 10 shields. Uh, finish off the caravan. So you stockpile the caravans for wonders, and eventually you'll stockpile them for spaceship parts. But that won't happen for a while since there are probably still a handful of wonders that you're going to need at this point. Like, uh, I still need Isaac Newton's College and Shakespeare's Theater here. So there I started Shakespeare's Theater. I'm gonna add the shields to it and let the last few shields actually get built up in the city by itself. Because otherwise you waste a handful of shields on the on the turns production that you don't get to if you put all caravans in. Now what I'm doing with that uh, trireme with the diplomat on it is basically. I'm looking for ships or other units to bribe. Oh, here I'm uh, switching to Republic. Because I will have Shakespeare's Theater to keep order in the city. Oh, for a muse of fire. To ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. Think when we talk of horses that you see them, printing their proud hooves in the receiving earth, for tis your thoughts that now must deck our kings, carry them from here to there, jumping o'er time, turning the accomplishment of many years into an hourglass. For the which supply, admit me chorus to this history, who prologue like your humble patience pray, gently to hear, kindly to judge, our play. So you want to bribe units because that way you don't, because the shield support can actually matter a lot, uh, especially if it's preventing you from getting to like 20 or 25 or something. Uh, 
And then there's also the happiness issue, which isn't usually too bad. They are just I just disbanded that trireme because of the support issues. And happiness. So, like, even with Shakespeare's Theater making everything content, if you have a uh, unhappiness from units, it can make it difficult to have your city celebrate without having like a temple or something in the city. Just because of the way the happiness works. So there, I was checking to see if there was something that had a little few, had a couple fewer shields that I could rush and then switch to the university, so I wouldn't have to waste a turn's production. But there wasn't, or at least something I really wanted to use. So here, I get an alliance with the Zulus. I can ask for some gold from them. So I was changing some of, I was changing the swamp to forest there in an effort to make sure they could have twenty shield production in the city. Well, for want of anything else to talk about, I might as well mention why I don't build um, the Great Library. The reason is that, uh, first of all, you have to wait until two people, or two civilizations, discover technologies um, in order for it to be of any use. Also, it can it'll give you technologies when you don't want them, so and that'll increase your resource cost increase your research costs and also uh, sometimes mess up what when you can actually research a technology because technology like one th about one third of the technologies are hidden at every at every time like at every uh, research uh, cycle so if you get too many technologies 
from the Great Library that will mess up what you can, like, your research plan if you make one specifically. While well, calculating out everything. And also a 300 shield when you can use the Marco Polo's embassy to get to get the technology you want by trading right away. Anyway. King Richard's Crusade isn't usually built because of the amount of like, it's just 300 shields, and the question is how long are you going to use it, and how useful will it be because of the amount of shields it'll add, and stuff like that, so. I find I'm usually still scrambling to get wonders when, when I play at this point anyway, so. So here I was doing some more uh, uh, t uh, directing of technologies for research. You know, at the end of, like when you get later in the game, you'll eventually stop that because you want to maintain enough of a technology lead so you can build your spaceship without having to worry about someone else catching up and building, since they'll be able to build it faster than you can. So at this point, I was having a bit of difficulty figuring out whether I wanted to turn one of those, uh, whether I wanted to turn that swamp into grassland, or I wanted to turn it into forest. Because at that point, I was producing 19 shields, and if you produce 20, you can build 20 uh, shields, uh, brush 10 shields, and then complete the last 20 shields of a caravan, which is really useful. We fall behind in weapons technology, sire. Street urchins with wooden swords could defeat this army as it stands. All is well, sire. I am off to ponder matters of gravity. Uh huh. Ha! Ah. We do well in all matters of trade, sire. Although an extra tax or two never hurt the royal coffers, eh? Truly. Your Majesty's relations with other empires be remarkable. Uh huh. The people rejoice, sire. Long live Your Majesty, the King. I agree, sire. So what I did is I exchanged maps in order to see if the Greeks had any ships I could bribe, like that frigate. 
So here I disband the trireme so I can get uh, 20 shields, so I can have 20 shields. And that will let me uh, build much faster. I could spend a turn rushing instead of having to either waste a whole lot of shields and money or an extra turn. So when you're celebrating your city, you can't actually get it beyond size 21 at uh, deity level without having democracy because of just the way the whole like the whole happiness thing works is that if your first citizen is unhappy, then you can't uh, celebrate your city without having either a wonder that like uh, hanging gardens or cure for cancer, or being in a democracy and having either a courthouse or a palace in your city, because that gives an extra happy citizen.